you have to excuse my shaky hands, but welcome back to another episode. So we're in a deload week right now. Oh man, soft sand is hard to run in. In a deload week, which means less kilometers. Look at this sunrise. So pretty. So I asked on Instagram for your questions, what you want to know about the ultra. I'm going to answer them, but I'm going to get to halfway. So I'll see you there. We're back at halfway. You guys may recognize this sort of from the last video, the 30K we did. We love the swim so much. We've decided that's our halfway point today. So we'll unpack. I'll talk to you guys when we're in the water. We're in, baby. So this is uh, a delightful halfway stop. Kind of like cold water therapy, except the water's not that cold. It's getting colder though. Yeah. Um, so as I said, I asked a bunch of questions. Well, I asked you guys to ask questions on Instagram. Dave is off camera right now. You saw in the background of previous story. Uh, he's going to ask some of those questions. Let's go. Are you losing much muscle mass with all the marathon training? Yeah, this is... Have you lost weight? I haven't really been tracking at all. I don't think so. Yeah. I feel like I've not gained any muscle work. Definitely. I'm one kilo down from where I started now. So I started at 80.5 in, or oh, just over a kilo down, like 79.2 at the moment. And I think it's gone for my legs more than anything. Following on from that, uh, is this sort of running suitable for losing weight for beginners? Any, this is a, a good general question, any cardio, if you are doing cardio and eating less calories than you burn, you will lose weight. But that's mostly to do with diet. The hard part of this while training for like an ultra marathon is just you're spending so many calories, so it's hard to eat as much as you're burning. So yeah, we're, we're kind of trying not to lose weight. Yeah, but if you want to try and lose weight, yeah, running a marathon will definitely help, but you just need to make sure you're not eating as much as you're burning each day. That sun has really just kicked in as well, so that's... Do you enjoy trail running more than weightlifting? Ooh. Oh, that is actually a good question. Yeah. I would say I'm currently getting more joy with the trail running. Mm. I'm actually like, Lee said this to me a while, we first, before we even signed up for the marathon, Lee was like, are you just running these because I asked you to do it and you want to hang out? to hang out, yeah. And it started that way, it was more like a good social hang, but I also really like the challenge of running trails. And the fact that we're spending five hours a week just mates talking. Yeah. Like, because it's you and I doing the most of it, but then like we got a few other friends like Dave who's joining us for quite a lot of the runs, so it's cool social time. There's a lot of questions around uh, knees in particular, but joints and ligaments and, and take it away, Lee. Sort of stuff. <laughs> how, how, how are your joints going? How do you maintain them? I had some patella tendinopathy, I think it was called, yep. where my left knee the like the tendon underneath the patella was really really sore and it apparently it was just kind of like an overuse too quickly kind of thing so saw a physio got some exercises to do and that seemingly touch wood cleared up for now other than that injury wise i haven't had much but nothing like concerning i feel like one of the things just adjusting to doing as much like volume running just because we haven't done it before it's just like sore feet and ankles yeah and like I'm not getting too much muscle soreness from it. My legs are pretty consistently just like heavy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't get too much. I'm just a bit. Mind the the volume of weight training to keep up as well. That's making me my my leg sessions are hurting way more than they used to, just because I'm not then doing a 15k run straight after. Yeah. But joints wise, a okay so far. You uh, you sort of answered the next question, haven't you? You kind of have to have leg days and keep up with the running. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, that, that's in the, and I also feel like I've slackened off in the past two or three weeks on my leg days. I haven't gone with it like, I don't know if I confess this to you, but I feel like my leg sessions are being way less intense than they used to be. Like I'm not going out and being like, I want to be crawling out of the gym. Now I'm like, you better take it easy yeah. and run later. <laughs> but, yeah, but that's the balance though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 100%. You're trying to do both. You can't like just give 100% to one. Yeah, true. Yeah, you've mentioned to me before as well that uh, all of your leg training is paying dividends when you're sort of running up a hill. Yeah, yeah, fully, yeah. The, yeah. the way lane programming is so that like when we're doing those big hills, that's why I'm not having bad knees or anything because I'm building the strength around them to make everything like function properly. And I feel like going up the hills, you that's where you like kind of take off from me, whereas because you've got strong legs. 
down hill, I feel like I cover more the muscle mass, like catching on. Yeah, on that hill. too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just hills in general. Yeah, the, the leg strength of you, like you, you I, I see it on hills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two ratio between cardio and weights, workouts per week. How, how many runs? How many? What are you supposed to be doing? Supposed to be or supposed doing? to be doing? Yeah. <laughs> I think Lane programmed me two weight sessions, just like an upper and a lower, and then four runs. Yes. And I've done. I've been pretty well, pretty good with the runs most weeks. The weights I've not been good with. Man's I'm far more committed. I'm doing four sessions, two upper, two lower, and then three runs. We're doing the same volume as in same distance each week. I just have one. One of my runs is longer, whereas you have. I split it over two shorter runs, yeah. Yeah. which I think is because I have less weight training to do. Yeah, I figure that's Lane's. Thing. Yeah. We see you training physically, but how are you mentally? Is the Paul, Paul, that's a great question. That is a really good question. Um, we're in a deload period right now. Like this has just come off the back of a, a, a big, big phase of volume. And the first run back is deload. I was like, I can't do 50 Ks. Yeah. This is hard. But overall, pretty confident. And I'm enjoying the process. Like I'm actually enjoying this experience of trying something different, training for something different. So overall positive. Yeah, I have ups and downs. Some runs we finish and I'm like, oh, we're gonna crush this. And then other runs we finish and I'm like, oh, I could not go another kilometer here. We also said that so often though, no matter what the distance is, we always get like a kilometer out and be like, I can't wait to be done. Yeah. And then we're done, we're like, that was great. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think we've still got like, what, 10 more weeks? Yeah. I think. By then, we will be hopefully physically ready enough that the mental side of it will feel fine because we'll know that we're physically ready. Also, the fact that when you're doing it, you're just going to have like hundreds of other people doing the same thing. The kind of community yeah. spirit should hopefully lift yeah, you up I'm, a bit. I'm counting on that. Definitely <laughs> counting on that for an extra <laughs> five or six k. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you'd be in a lot of trouble. Yeah. That's been factored into the program. <laughs> Do you have any tips for regulating your breathing? <laughs> um, no, not really. I don't think I. I don't know necessarily if I have the greatest running technique for breathe, like breathing technique for running. I I breathe through my nose a lot. Yeah, you're a better breather than I am. I don't know. But you were saying as well, we talk a lot. When yeah, we run. these whole things, like every run that we're doing together, we're talking the entire time. There's very little silence. And I think that's kind of forced better breathing patterns. We're also running mostly at like a zone two, zone three tempo, which means we're not overly exerting. We're not sprinting to get it done. So our heart rate ideally should be low enough to kind of hold the conversation, yeah. which is then therefore making us improve our breathing over time. So like we've definitely progressed how easily we can do the volume now. Yeah. And I feel like same with the conversations, like we can talk at a much higher volume than we probably could off to start. Towards the end of the long runs, there's not a lot. It's just some, some whinging. No, oh, we whinge 90% of the runs. <laughs> How many kilometers do you run per day for training? I, I guess a good way to answer that is like, um, how how far are you going? What 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 are the furthest runs in the lead up to number 50 days? I don't know what the furthest will be. I don't like the program the last block yet. I think the longest we'll probably do is around 40. We said up to 44, but okay. I can't imagine we'll do a 44. I probably 40. Yeah, exactly. I think 40 will probably be strange in the background. Um, <laughs> I think 40K is probably going to be the furthest we do in the lead up. So far, the longest we've done is 30. And yeah. I could have done further on the first 30. The second 30 sucked to me. Yeah, I'm trying to remember which ones they were. Yeah, the both first 30 was this one. Yeah. And then the second one was the road one. Yeah. Which I didn't like. Yeah, I don't want to go too much further than 40 in training beforehand. Yeah. I feel like we can pull an extra 10Ks out. Yeah. On the, the idea, day. I think, is to make sure that we're doing like almost, almost double the volume in like max in one week. Yeah. So at the moment, we're like doing like, what's next week? Like a 30K. I think I have like a 15 to a 20k and then I think a 10k or something like that. So that's not quite the 50, but we're not, not double 50, but it's still a lot more volume.
and there's there's a few questions on uh, whether you'll ever do a triathlon and Iron Man. No, I'm pretty confident saying no. Swimming and biking as well. Biking doesn't appeal to me. I like swimming, but also not. I'd rather just do this. I want to just swim distance. Having said that, I also probably said at one point I wouldn't do a marathon. So never say never, but also right now it doesn't appeal to me. Do you? Nah, I'm a terrible swimmer, and biking doesn't really appeal to me. You've got floaties on right now, underneath. You can't see. Food! That was one of the ones in there. How are you doing with food? How are you finding keeping the calories up? Are you finding it hard or easy? On a, like, I don't know. I haven't been tracking, to be honest. Yeah. I've probably not been eating enough. I think I tend to under eat, yeah. if anything, like I under eat. And especially when we do like a long run, sometimes I like really bonk out by the end of the day and I put it down to have eaten eat enough calories. Yeah, yeah, I the same, I find it's hard getting the volume of food in and I often neglect that. One of the things I was doing poorly for a while was protein, which makes no sense since I'm sponsored by a protein brand. Um, but yeah, I was sort of neglecting protein a little bit. So overall, I've been relatively consistent. I think now we get more volume. I probably need to be increasing my calories just to like keep up the experience. All right, that'll do. Let's go swimming. I got the water out of the speaker there, but swimming is done. It's time to hit the trails again. up the top so that end up being just under 15 k's for this run as i said this is a deload period which means scaling back we overreached on the last one building our volume back up um so nice easy little run there actually not the pace was i can check that really quickly burn, burn, burn. so yeah eight minute pace nice and slow there um elevation was Quite a lot actually. That was 500 meters elevation, so overall, great success. Getting cool off now. See you guys in the next video.